The Nation's Report Card answers your questions about student progress nationally and across the states through interactive graphics with data spanning more than two decades. In 2013, the National Assessment of Educational Progress assessed a nationally representative sample of fourth and eighth graders in mathematics and reading. This website provides answers to three major questions. This section of the site answers the question, what knowledge and skills do students have? The answers are reported based on the NAEP achievement levels, which were established by the National Assessment Governing Board and defined in the mathematics and reading frameworks. They are basic, proficient, and advanced. The achievement levels identify what students should know and be able to do in mathematics and reading for both fourth and eighth grade. Students performing at or above the proficient level on NAEP demonstrate solid academic performance and competency over challenging subject matter. As a result of the No Child Left Behind Act, states identified a proficiency level on their state assessment using their own definition of the term. In general, the state definitions are different from NAEP's definition, and most are not as rigorous. In this section, you will find the percentage of 4th and 8th graders who were at or above proficient in mathematics and reading in the 1990s, 2011, and 2013. From 1990 to 2013, for example, the percentage of the nation's fourth graders scoring at or above proficient in mathematics increased from 13% in 1990 to 42% in 2013. Scroll down to see how the percentage of students reaching the various achievement levels has changed over time. Use the drop-down to navigate between grades and subjects. The next section, Student Groups Reaching Proficient, shows the percentage of students who were at or above proficient by race and ethnicity. Scroll down to discover how the percentage of students at or above proficient has changed by different variables, including, for example, gender or school type, in every assessment year. In the last section, Sample Questions, you can explore the types of questions that students at each achievement level were likely to answer correctly, and test yourself to see how you would have performed. You can download data of your choice from the bottom of the page to draw your own conclusions about achievement level performance on the nation's report card.